All right, boys, so I'm back with another video here on the Ford truck. Uh, I got pulled into the garage. I am adding a little bit of coolant. I saw someone commented on my video saying my coolant was a little low, and it actually was indeed quite a bit low. I had to add about a gallon of coolant, even though like the uh, line was like down there. Like basically this top part wasn't full, and I just went and uh, filled it up. So now that is uh, topped off. Got a little drip right there. Um, but the main part of this video, I'm going to be replacing that old 40-year-old uh, carburetor. I got a new one, or a new reproduction one. It's not like a new Ford one. It's like a new reproduced one. And I'm also just probably going to do like an engine detail clean up under the hood here because this is pretty nasty. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to... Today, I'm just going to throw a new carburetor on here. It's the exact same carburetor. I'm not like converting it. Uh, so yeah, this will be a cool little video. Um, I'm probably not going to record too much of it because I like to listen to music and I don't want to get copyright striked. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to like probably just do like an engine detail as well as uh, throw a new carburetor on there, tune it up. I might also do some cleaning up of the wire. I got some really cool loom like uh, wire wrapping uh, for it so I can make it look a little bit nicer back there. You know, like just clean it up. Like it's kind of nasty under here. And maybe I'll also climb down there and... Uh, mark the balancer and get the timing set right um, I think I, I could probably bump the advance up on a, a couple degrees I don't want to like detonate this motor so I'm just gonna like I've been leaving it kind of uh, slowed um, I think YouTube would copyright strike me if I said the actual word for that but um or not copyright strike but probably just like a guideline strike me but yeah I'm gonna leave it um, I'm probably going to advance the timing a little bit on that. I also just want to, like, clean up the engine bay. Like, again, the guy who owned, me, owned this, like, uh, for a brief time when I sold it to him, he really did not keep this thing clean. Like, that, when I had it, was just spotless. Under the hood was spotless. Like, I legit cleaned this perfectly. So it was, like, spotless under here. And now look at it. Ugh. Okay, that little dark spot where our fire was, that was here. Because I'm assuming that this engine was on fire at one point because... The top of the uh, intake looks a bit charred there, so... Yeah, alright, well, I'm just gonna, like, um, probably cut to me when I have the carb off. I'm gonna try to record if I don't. Too bad, I guess. Also, I might look at my, um, little VIN uh, tag there, because, like, the actual VIN is, like, off the door. Like, they didn't fill it out properly, I don't think, so... Uh, I'll probably take a look at that and uh, get the actual, like, color code. Because I kind of want to... I think this is, like, copper metallic or something like that. Because um, I might want to, like, repaint the um, bed a little bit back there where it was, like, messed up. Also, I got a couple parts coming for it. Um, I got a new grill piece. So, like, this will be fixed up. I got new um, side marker lights because... I converted all these to LEDs with the ones you saw in the previous video, but when I was taking the side ones off here, I broke both of them because it was uh, frozen. Like it had rained a couple nights previous, and water had gotten in those seams and frozen. And when I took this off, it just shattered right in half. So, uh, yeah. Also, I think I'm gonna need a new uh, master cylinder at some point. You can very clearly see. It's been leaking brake fluid out of the back seal of that master cylinder. Also, that master cylinder looks charred as well from, like, a fire. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting a new master cylinder. Ho oh, no. Oh, no. I'm already... Oh, no. I don't want to take those old lines off. Just because if I break a brake line... Uh, all right, well, I guess we'll just use penetrating fluid and go really slowly on that, but... That's a little disappointing, and uh, I'm not looking forward to doing that, but I need my brakes back. So, yeah. Everything else under here looks decent, but I'm just going to go around with, like, a hard uh, brush and, like, get all, like, this mud off everywhere. Also, unfortunately, it's starting to flake off. You can see the brass. That's fine. Overall, okay, is that a leak? Please tell me that's not a leak. I don't think that's a leak. I think I may have just spilled a little bit of it. Right there. I am hoping that's not a leak. Please don't let that be a leak. Oh, uh, please don't be a leak in the radiator. This radiator is actually good. I think I may have just spilled it on here. Okay, I'm hoping I just spilled a little bit of coolant on that. I don't want to replace this radiator. This radiator is good. Alright, well, I'm going to get going on this. 
how will I change this part out though? I think... Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna record this, but I'm just like trying to figure out how like this part comes out. I don't wanna break the actual good part of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna like get going on this. This is gonna be a long, boring, mildly boring job. I have to clean up under there. I'm obviously gonna cap off my carbs. I don't get like water and cleaning supplies down the uh, throat there, so. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to get this thing back to um, like a decent condition truck, so. Yeah, I'll probably cut to like Maybe after I get the carb off, and then I'm just unplugging this. Just, I don't, it doesn't drain battery, I just... If I get water up in here, I don't want to short anything out, so... Alright, I'm gonna get going on this. Enough procrastinating. See ya. Alright, I'm back. Um, a couple hours later. I'm um, really sorry, but I didn't film like when the carb was off. I just kind of slammed it all in because I was wanting some dinner. Also... I'm changing the plugs out, and they're all looking pretty healthy. Like, there's a little bit of, um, that, like, I think that's just a scuff mark when I was pulling it out of the engine. It got, like, a little scuff mark. But there's no, um, none of these plugs are, um, looking like they were burning lean, or like they're dripping oil out of the valves. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty dark because it's been running rich, mainly because I'm afraid of blowing this engine up if I... Oh hey, a 10 millimeter. Um, but I'm worried about it, um, mainly because it's a 351M or 400. It, it's, a, it's a 351, it's, it's a Cleveland engine, okay? It's a, it's a Cleveland engine. And I'm just worried that if I blow it up, parts to get in Alaska are just gonna be impossible, pretty much. So I've been running it a little rich just so I don't have to, you know, you know, if I poke a hole in the cylinder or um, burn a valve up, I don't wanna, be in the weeds for that so all right here it is new carb it's on i got it all hooked up everything works great um idle's amazing i mean i literally just put it on and it <coughs> excuse me um i uh preset the mixture screws uh all the way in then two and a half spins out uh the idle was a little low so i cranked the idle up a little bit and it idles just fine um, it's the exact same linkage setup for the uh, transmission kick down, so that should be fine. I um, moved this over. I don't know what it is. I think it's some kind of a cold weather high idle or something like that. I have no clue, but essentially like this little thing goes in or out. It doesn't even touch, but yeah, it it's cool. Um, it's just chilling. Um, I painted this little cover right here. Uh, that was on the other one. I just threw it on there just because stock part, I guess. I don't know. It's a cool little cover for the electronic um, idle there. So I just put that cover on there, painted it. It doesn't look too out of place. Like on the camera, it shows up a bit more. But yeah, the uh, carb is on. It runs great. I'll probably get it backed out here soon. I'm changing the spark plugs as you... Yeah, those spark plugs over there. So I got spark plugs there. I got a bore scope here. I'm just looking at the... Um, tops of the pistons and the valves and everything's looking great um it just looks like an old engine like uh, the cylinder walls look nice and fresh actually i can still see the little diamond pattern in them uh, but the tops of the pistons look like they're just old like they're just old iron or uh probably iron yeah i don't know they're old they look like iron anyways um pistons uh they look fine there's no there's no white spots or holes in them uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get like the other couple, uh, I've done this side already on spark plugs, so I just need to throw in this side. And then I'm probably gonna set up the idle and the mixture and maybe advance the timing just a smidge. Uh, I've replaced a couple vacuum lines right there and right there. Little things. But yeah, this thing's, uh, feeling pretty good now. Uh, you can just see all like the van skate shoe markings all over this because I've been like stepping into the truck to like get to like there's a a really annoying like uh, emissions thing that comes out of there and goes into that and it's like a steel line and it made it nearly impossible to like bend a screw like get in the right angle so it was a bit annoying to do that see I'm just like gonna finish this up I'm definitely going to clean this up before I close it down here. 
I did a little test patch and it's looking really good. Like, I didn't even use water, I just used a rag and like, it already just looks better right there. So I'm just gonna like do that to the entire under here. I'm probably gonna throw an air cleaner on top of that before I do that. And uh, I'm probably gonna wrap it up. I might get that loom like wrapping step up for those wires right there, right there, and like a couple other wires over here. And then I will be done for tonight. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in just a second when I have it like all all done. Alright guys, it's a little late. I ended up uh, skipping, like, wrapping the wires up in that cool loom stuff. Just because it's getting a little late. It's cold. My hands hurt. Like, I got a cut on my hand right there. Uh, I'll throw in a couple clips of me driving this thing, but... Dude, like, that, th that... A carburetor fixed all my problems. The idling problem, gone. The, uh... It was mainly, like, an idling problem. So what I was doing is... When I'd put it in park, you know how there's two different type of idles. There's like the park and neutral idle, then there's like the reverse and drive idle. And uh, when it was in park, it would idle super high to like the point where it was just like, is it good to be like running the engine at this high? I was like sitting like 2,000 RPM idling. And I had the set screw for idle backed all the way out. And then as soon as I'd put it into gear, same deal. Like it was a bit lower, like maybe 1800 to 1500 RPM, but it was like really a lot of idle. But as soon as I did this, I backed the timing down a little bit because when I opened it up on the road for the first time, I heard it uh, pinging a little bit, like not badly. It was only on like the last like 100 or so RPM I started hearing it. And it was definitely a spark ping. It wasn't, um, knock or anything like that this engine is really good i just checked the bore scope this engine's solid the oil's good on it. it has great oil pressure so it's not a knock it's just a little spark knock from being too advanced so i backed it down a little bit i have a timing light but i mean because it's cold when it gets back to summer when i'm actually driving it i'll reset it i'll reset the uh mixture and i'll reset i'll reset the timing but i think the timing's fine honestly like it makes plenty of power like you'll see um it literally spins going into second gear, so... Yeah, this thing is very, very happy, like, now. Like, after that, put a carburetor on it, now I can adjust the idle, actually. It has good um, air-fuel mixture. It's not super rich. I looked at the plugs, and I'm pretty happy with the plugs. They were all dark, which means it was running rich, which is exactly what I want. I know it's not the best for the engine, but it's easier to clean up a little bit of uh, carbon on the, you know, on the pistons and on the valves than uh, dealing with a burnt valve or um, just a hole in the piston. So I'm glad they were dark and not uh, super bright. Um, yeah, uh, here I'll just pop the hood. It's just what I showed you. It's just, I also cleaned it a little bit, but it's just going to get dirty out here. And it's super dark out, but... You can see that new carb there. I'm actually going to go grab the air cleaner for it so it doesn't get any uh, water down it. Um, but yeah, this thing is super nice. I also think I fixed a vacuum leak. I got a whole bunch of new vacuum lines. And that's what I was mainly doing. I was, uh, I was searching down and uh, fixing a vacuum leak. Um, it was um, That actually might have been my idling problem too. But a couple of the uh, vacuum hoses on the very back on the tree, uh, they... Got a little crispy at some point. Actually, that whole engine bay looks like it got kind of crispy at one point. So, um, yeah, the uh, couple of vacuum lines at the very back were just kind of crumbling. And I think I was getting a little bit of a vacuum leak after that, out of that. So, uh, air cleaner right there. I have a wing nut for that uh, thing somewhere. Uh, yeah, there are the plugs. Again, they're all just kind of dark. No real issues with those. 
I have a wing nut here somewhere. Uh, worst case scenario, I have to go get a new wing nut. It's so strange, I thought I had it. Uh, I might be somewhere here lost on my workbench. Mechanic best friend right here, acetone. Things great. Um, here's the old carb. Just kind of sitting here, chilling out. Uh, ooh. That's why the uh, throttle is a little spongy. Uh, I had this extra uh, return spring for my throttle in there uh, before on this carburetor because this uh, main spring is really shot. Like, sure, it returns, but it's really spongy, like when you have it on the throttle. And I like my throttle, it's just a little stiffer. Ooh, ooh. So, um, I might throw that back on when it's daytime again and it's not like 20 degrees. It's actually a nice day out tonight. Alright, I can't find my wing nut. I'm just gonna like use random nut here. So, that's kind of disappointing. I, I had this wing nut that was on the uh, old air cleaner, I mean, on the old carb here for like the past four or five months, and like I took it off today. I remember distinctly taking it off today, and now it's gone. Well, now, okay. I'm probably gonna end the video off here. I'm just gonna go throw an air cleaner on this so I don't get any water or moisture, or snow, or dirt down the uh, intake because that carburetor is nice and clean. And I think that may have been why it was a little uh, messed up is because I'm not gonna blame anybody, but the previous owner kind of like took the air cleaner off and then drove it around and like, I, that was a clean carburetor before. But like, I looked in the bores, I got a bore scope specifically for that reason. I didn't want to look in there and see like a rusty cylinder wall, but it all looked really nice. So, I guess guy didn't do too much damage driving without an air cleaner, but I'm definitely an air cleaner kind of guy, so. Alright, well, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this gets a decent amount of viewage. I always enjoy that, and specifically on the Ford truck, I mean... This is like literally one of my favorite vehicles I own. Like sure, the Chevy's fine. That Crown Vic in the garage is amazing with 63,000 miles, but like this thing right here and my Lincoln Mark V are like my top vehicles, man. Like literally this Ford is like, even when it had the bad carb on it, it uh, didn't even let me down uh, when I was uh, out. You can see a little bit of coolant on the ground there from when I added coolant. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh man, come on. This... All right. I don't know why I'm still recording. Air cleaner ass looking motherfucker. Sorry. Did I dent this air cleaner or something? Okay. Whatever, I'm just gonna throw it on here. All right, sorry, I didn't, I'm just trying to get this on. I think I dented it or something, like it's not fitting right. Uh, here's, now oh, the gasket fell off, I guess that's something, but. All right, I can't, I cannot see the little place where the nut's supposed to go. Thank you guys for watching, I'm gonna end the video out here, it's getting kind of long. Thanks for watching, peace, peace, see ya. <laughs>